Physics Challenge 2, dielectric material. Uh, we apply 100 volt and negative 100 volt across these two capacitor. Okay, so it's kind of a series capacitor configuration. You apply the voltage. Okay, and we short circuit in the middle. That means suddenly it's going to be parallel configuration, but a little different from parallel because this one's negative. So the voltage get parallel too. So we find out how much charge escape. Okay. So in series of capacitance in the previous video, the total capacitance C, the C1, C2, 1 over C equals 1, C1 plus C2. So C equals actually C1 plus C2, C1, C2. Now, um, the uh, let's calculate it. 10 micron plus uh, 1 micron 10 micron plus 1 micron equals uh, 10 micron micron 11 micron so it's going to be 10 divided by 11 so 0 0.91 micron coulomb uh, micron farad okay so initially the Q is uh, CV total V is 200, so 0 0.91 microfarad times 200 equals 182 coulomb. Okay, so that's the initial charge here, Q, and negative Q. And remember this Q and negative Q, the total charge here is zero in the beginning okay now when you um, short circuit so each capacitor can hold uh, say C1 can hold the 100 C1 which is um, 1000 micro uh, don't forget this micro and C2 can hold the 1 uh, actually 1C2 equals times 100 100 times so 100 micro coulomb but you have to know this is going to be positive here and this is going to be negative q1 is negative so this guy is negative charge accumulated so all together negative 1000 micro coulomb plus 100 micro coulomb is going to have minus 900 micro coulomb. So end result is the total charge here is going to be this much. But in the beginning, actually it was series configuration. So you had a Q and negative Q is zero. So actually the charge escape is only this much and we don't have to consider the initial state because the initial state the charge was zero okay i hope you enjoyed this video and please check other videos uh, if you like subscribe